Today I'm going to just take you through a little bit of a tour on the new user interface, new and improved, um, to help everybody navigate and uh, trade physical gold, physical silver and cryptocurrency easily and simply. Uh, I'm going to take you through a bit of the design features we've added to uh, make the exchange a lot more user friendly and accessible. So first of all, we've reduced a new menu in the Kinesis Money platform here on the left to actually give us more space you know, for the trading window. And on the top here, we have an information bar which can quickly give you the information you need on any pair uh, at the blink of an eye. So ultimately, what we've taken is the bid and ask step from the order book and created a very, very simple bid ask depth in the information panel so you can see exactly what's going on and what the spread is on any pair at any one time. We've also added the feature of the open, high, low and close price so you can see you know, where the market's opened, uh, where it's closed, what the highs are, and obviously the 24 hour percentage change in price from the previous period. This is a daily percentage change, which runs from 1700 central time to 1700 central time and resets. We've taken that based off of the COMEX closing period so that we can actually line up with the uh, price of metal that sits there and everyone's used to. The 24 hour volume here also runs from 1700 to 1700 CT. So it means that the trading volume you're seeing here would be from that 1700 central time and then it would close and reset uh, in 24 hours or daily uh, at 1700 central time. We've also moved over the settings panel to the top right so you can actually have your profile window uh, easily accessible in line with good practice and UI so that you can get to all of your information very quickly and very easily. You can click it on, click it off, or just click off screen to close the window. So let's just quickly come down to the market pairs edition we've added. Rather than having market pairs listed on a separate window, we've brought them into the exchange. You can hide the panel by simply hiding by clicking change market and then make the panel reappear again. In the panel, what we've done is we've added the pair, the annotation to the pair, the 24 hour volume so you can see exactly what's going on volume wise across the exchange and then the price which is pulled in from the current mid price between bid and ask it gives you just a snapshot on where the book is without even having to look so we can look right now at the mid price all the way down the line here and see where everything is currently priced in our order book and again we've brought the percentage change of the market into you can see 11 percent here uh, plus 11 percent and plus 11 percent here you can see the percentage change and that is the percentage that gold is up against the US dollar in the 24 hour period. So moving away from the market pairs, um, we have the order book and in the order book, you can see that we have the available depth. You can scroll down on that depth to see what's going on. And obviously the top level of depth here would be 54.26 per gram of gold. That's the bid depth and then the ask depth. So we have uh, limit orders in here that are filling up the order book and then we're obviously displaying that here. So we've also added a new depth chart. The depth chart will show exactly what's happening with volume against the buy and the sell side. We have the buy side here, the depth on the buy side and the depth on the sell side. And you can actually start to now analyze the market from the mid price and see where the actual sell walls are and the buy walls are um, to give you a little bit of an indication on what's going on. Within the order book as well, so whenever I've got an order, so I've placed an order here, I want to buy one KAU at 5371. So what it's doing is it's indicating my order on my book uh, against the order depth, okay? So you can see where your order sits in the current order book. Uh, very easily, you know, we've brought the open orders into the actual trading screen now, so you can easily cancel them. And, and you can see exactly what's going on. The order history now is shown again in a tab on the side and it will show all your order history here, what was filled, what was canceled, buy and sell on what pairs, um, all the information you need. There is actually a little arrow here which will just show you uh, a little bit more detailed on the time it was executed, quantity price, and obviously here, if you click it, will actually take you to a trade confirmation cell. This is uh, basically your invoice or your trade confirmation that you can actually use to you know, keep all your trades organized and to keep your accounting in, in order. So coming back to our trade screen. So here we have actually um, uh, redesigned the way the order screen works. So you've got just a top down view with all the information you need in one easy place 
right next to your charting. So you can see what's going on in the market here, you can see your pricing, and then we can actually see for a limit order, or on a buy limit order, I can swap to sell very easily. A function that you might want to take note of is if the bid depth here, the top level of depth is 54.26, and I want to buy a limit order, I can just click this and it will populate the price. So now I can say, okay, I want to buy one KAU at that price. Uh, I click on the screen, type my one in, it'll automatically calculate the total value. Or I can go the opposite way and say, well, I want to spend $100 or $1,054 and it will reverse calculate how much quantity is needed there. We also can bring in, based on the amount of funds you have in your account, which you can see my available balance in this instance is 306, I can actually just bring 25% of the value straight in and it will back calculate against that bid price and show me how much KAU that I will get. I can move it up to 50%, 75% or choose to bring the full 100% in. You can see here, in this instance, the KAU is the fee. It'll give me the total to receive, and you'll notice the total to receive is a little less than the quantity I'm buying because the fee is obviously one, uh, 0, 1, 2, 4, 1 KAU. It'll calculate the total to the max, and I can place my order. Same on the sell side. If I want to go on the R step here on the, on the sell side, I can just click, it'll bring the price in, but this time it's going to let me bring in my total of balance of KAU to sell. In this instance, I don't have any KAU to sell, but let me take you over to the KAG screen where I have some KAG there for the demo. And now I'm gonna to go to a sell order, 25%, and it will bring 25% of my KAG. It's just a good way to say if you've got 100% of your holdings, this is just an easy way for you to quickly bring in the balance, especially if the market's moving fast. I can then bring it against my values and it will automatically calculate. Okay, um, we also have the fees here and obviously total to receive. So it's just a really, really intuitive interface that works both ways for you, no matter what you're doing. On the market order side, remember more market orders are executed against the available depth. So uh, the pricing is indicative because if the depth is moving fast, uh, it might get filled and it might fill at the next one or if you're uh, if we only have one KAG in here and you're ordering 200, but there's 200 at this price, it'll fill here and then it will fill down the book. So be aware with market order. Limit order is a way to set the price. A market order, you're going to be pulling from the depth. And then easily for market order, I can just bring my KAG in uh, on a sell order. I can sell at that price, place my order, and it will execute. We brought the recent orders uh, straight down underneath so you can see exactly what's going on. Here you can see with KAG, you can see all the recent orders um, and the timestamps to go with them. So this is just a really, really handy tool for you to actually see what's going on as far as recent executed orders is concerned. And that basically concludes us with the exchange trade interface itself. So now I'm gonna walk you over to the, the charts. Basically we have uh, enhanced the user interface for the charts themselves. We have integrated trading view charting so the fluency and ease and accessibility of the charting has, has greatly improved. We have a whole host of features within the charts, including uh, drawing tools, Fibonacci's, pitchforks, all of the things you would need for trading analysis and technical analysis. Uh, we have a whole bunch of drawing tools on here as well, which you can use, and a whole list of indicators. The indicators here, uh, you know, whether it's moving averages, Bollinger Bands, anything you want. Um, we have a really, really good range of indicators here that you can use, including volumes, so you can actually start to get some technical analysis happening on the charts. So from there, we have created the ability to be able to hide panels. You see the arrows through here. I can start to make my chart bigger by pulling it down here by hiding off my order history and hiding off my depth and order book. Um, I can choose to have one or both of them open and we can easily make it full screen just by clicking this button here. So just some easy, quick you know, tools here to get you into full screen mode. We've even given you the ability to, to hide the order panel here, make it full screen, so you can actually start to have a look at your chart in, in full screen mode. You can then bring your markets into here, and now we have just a clean interface where you've just got your markets, your full range of tools, your indicators are right there, and you can actually see everything that's going on. 
All of the charts are responsive. You can scroll with your mouse, zoom in and out. Um, you'll notice the chart data in this demo is you're seeing long tails. Here we are uh, actually bringing more and more data in as the exchange grows and you'll start to see these charts normalize um, significantly and start to look very, very normal. Um, this is something that will just take a little, a few weeks to sort of normalize as the data starts to flow in. Okay, so we've also added a, another feature here that I'd like to make everybody aware of. Um, it is on the deposit function of the uh, Kinesis uh, money platform itself. So if you come back out into accounts, um, you'll come to deposit. So if you select your currency, whether it be US dollars, AED, AUD, you'll see the IBAN changing. And as we go through Canadian dollars, yen, GBP, you now have the ability to load your GBP to this address here. You use the IBAN first bank address. You put in the bank account details. You normally would do a transfer with GBP to this address. They will convert it to US dollars and then fund your account. It's quick, it's seamless. Uh, the percentage fees are no more than you would pay uh, with currency conversion anywhere else. Um, and it's just a simple way for you to get access to all of your currencies um, and a, a wide range of deposit currencies immediately. We've also updated for Euro as well. We've updated our Euro accounts deposit details and it's all now accessible in a dynamic format on the deposit funds screen. So this is really everything we wanted to discuss on the current user interface and what we've actually done with it. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed the session or I hope you've enjoyed the session. Um, a couple of features that we're actually integrating uh, the ability to edit open orders. So the ability to just edit an open order and change the price to move in line with the book is on the way. We are introducing dark mode uh, so that you can flick between dark and light mode so you have a nice midnight blue background and it will all pop against that dark background and you'll be able to have greater accessibility for those that have trouble seeing you know, more lighter fonts on white screens or if you prefer to have that dark, you know, the dark light coming through rather than the bright blue light. We will also be having some improved features around the time frames. Instead of listing periodically where the bars are listed in a period, what we'll have is we'll have the minutes. So we'll be bringing in five minute, 30 minute, one hourly, four hourly and one day time frames to make it easier and to give you, uh, you know, the things that you need as a trader or the time frames you need as a trader to be able to run your technical analysis properly. And that concludes this little tour of the new Kinesis user interface on the Kinesis Exchange. Thank you very much.